Alright people, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Thursday and that means that we are using Cosmic Ubel. And I am thinking about taking this deck off of Vitamin Y because the more stuff that Yang Zings get, the more I want to use those things, but then the more Ubel gets in the way. Like at this point, I was like, oh well I really like, you know, that new Synchro Monster. He's really awesome and cool, you know, he's a great effect. Uh, you choose. You choose, man. You want you want paper rock scissors? You get to decide. That it doesn't matter. Do you want to go first? That's just not up to me. You choose. Yeah. You know, you know, the person who has the rock paper scissors has the right to decide. Ah. So like I said, I'm just, I'm just been having a really, really difficult time trying to uh, uh, decide on what things I want to do in this deck, and definitely one of the things that I'm having a difficult time with. Is uh, getting all the Yang Zings in there with Yubel being in the way. Because, you know, of course, the three Yubels, and I'm running one Armageddon Knight and one Rota, so I can search that one Armageddon Knight because all I need to do is just send Yubel and then it's in the grave and I'm ready to go. <sighs> but I've just been having a really difficult time pulling that off. So, I'm probably just going to take the. I've, at this point, I mean, it's, they get still a point. But I'm just like, you know what? It's just better just to run, you know. A blank deck, you know, it's better just to run a yang, a pure yang zing deck than run it with Yubel at this point. You know, there's sometimes where they have a little bit of you know correlation together, but right now I'm just like, mm -mm, mm -mm, you know, I would love to try out the new pendulum monsters and stuff, but uh, no, I can't, so that sucks, yeah. You know, and what else are we running in here? We're running uh, Harris, so we can first and Ferris, our Shun Ferris. And we got the revival, you know, we got the calls, we got the Oasis, we got the Limit Reverse. The Limit Reverse could probably be used somewhere else too, you know. You know, this deck, I feel like this deck would be a lot, lot better if it didn't have Ubel in it. And I've been feeling that way about a couple of the decks. And generally, when I start feeling that way about Ubel decks on Vimin Y, they get taken off. So. Uh, I bet the problem, the only problem right now is at this point, I really can't think of another Ubel deck that can take its place at the current moment. I mean, it's not like this deck is bad, it's just not as good as I want it to be. You know? You, you, guys, you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. So, assuming that he'll go ahead and kill my Armageddon Knight, so if he kills my Armageddon Knight, I'll be able to summon the Yang Zing, because I'll go ahead and activate Zing, Yang Zing creation, I'll probably summon, like, I don't know. Uh, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. You know. If I can actually summon that boss monster, that level 9 guy, with what? It would have to be Big C. Neil Bucks, nice. Another Neil Bucks, nice. Damn. He wants to send all the cards. All the cards, okay. I don't know why your cards are getting banished. Like babysitting you. <laughs> I don't know why you're banishing them. Send them to grave. There's nothing on the field that makes some cards get banished. And then you continue to fucking. You know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that nine? One, two, three, four, five. S Damn it, stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's ten. Looks like some, I don't I don't even know what that, ultim, some kind of death size ultimaya deck of weirdness. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> so you're going to go Mally effect, banish Mally, summon Mally, then tribute it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're planning. You know, I was anyway. I was talking about that level nine boss monster. If I could, if I actually be able to summon that level nine boss monster, with like what it would be, Jaltu, Bixi, Suwani, and that's the guy. One wearing at one, Plalo, Plalo. Yeah, Plalo. Uh, is that right? Yeah. I'd, I'd be straight up unaffected by spells, traps, strong. 
I'd be on a, you know, dark monster, dark, water, fire, or wind wouldn't be out. It sucks that I wouldn't be able to get light, you know. It sucks that the light monster is another tuner. Like, that's what sucks, you know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Chiwen being the tuner. It's just, you know, Jiao Tu is a better tuner, and it's more of a used tuner than, uh, than, uh, Chiwen, so. But Chiwen was first. But... Things would be a lot easier if Chi when wasn't a tuner, you know. Because it doesn't say like, you know, one or more tuners here. You say, yeah. It's like one tuner and one or more non tuner. Why can it be like, you know, tuner plus non tuner? So even if there are tuners, I could use multiple of them to whip this guy out, Trial Fang. Looking here, I should actually want M7. Stag, alright. Once but. When this card is seeing something, you can talk about monster and play your better and equip this time. Alright. Alright. Okay. I have no idea what my opponent is doing here. I'm so fucking lost. <laughs> Alright, so you're equipped and you gain half an attack once per turn you can attach the same material. This card target one face of card on each side. To attach one same material from this card to target one face of card on each side of the field. Send those targets to the grave. What happened to your monster? Oh, you're using your effect. This effect, even though he didn't detach an XM material. So, now what? I'm, I'm so confused. Okay. This card has a nice card special summon. You can equip one to your deck. You cannot normal summon or special summon monsters. You cannot normal summon special monsters, but you can normal set. When this card, when this card is sent from the field of error, you can send one card. In. I'm so fucking lost. So fucking lost. <laughs> It's a strong ass monster. Is that your plan? And you got rid of my fucking dark hole too. But when this card is sent from the field to the grave, you can target one card. You can send one card from your from your hand to the graveyard. And if you do special summon this card from the graveyard. Okay. He's just a really strong monster. Fex, actually. Fex. Super strong monster. Alright, well, I am going to go ahead and special summon uh, Swanee and Bixie. I could actually go for the monster right now. I could actually go activate Oasis, summon out Plua, and then summon him, and bam, I got my little. I got Chai. Chai. Chai Fang? Chai Fang? Chai Fang? Chao Feng. But Chao Feng's not that useful right now. It's really not. It's not that useful. Of course, I keep on getting number generated cards. I got the Armageddon Knight, now I get the Rota, and the Rota's just dead at this point. You know, if I get the Armageddon Knight before I get the Rota, then the Rota is dead. That's pretty much how this deck goes, because you don't want Armageddon Knight. It's really not worth running anymore. You know, I run the Armageddon Knight at one, the Rota at one, the Foolish at one, just so the number generator will give me those cards so I can go ahead and send you Bell early. That's pretty much the gist. I mean, I'm ch I'm cheating the system, but I mean, hey, what can I say, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and send uh, Harris, and then Harris will get her effect, and I will go ahead and get me the fairy archer and the fairiness. And literally, I'm just gonna go ahead and normal summon uh, Jiao Tu and Synchro Shokan into. 
Axia. Not sending you to grab back to back. I'm not sending you to the graveyard. What is your attack? 2500. This card gains 500 attack for each monster. For 500 attack for each monster in the graveyards. Wow. Alright, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Buff them. Buff them. Buff them. Back to that. 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Wow, 18 times 500 plus 25, that's a lot. That, that, is, that is enough to fucking, uh, I mean, uh, so, uh, effect, Baxia is 2800. That, 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 that is enough. I really don't feel like doing that math in my head right now. So I'll just whip out a calculator, so it's 18 times 500, 9000 plus 2100. Oh, look at how that attack he was. He, he was. Ooh, thank you, fucking Baxia. The ability to fucking put shit back. Cause if you didn't have that ability, then oh my god. Now, the scary thing is if he summons another one. If he summons another one, then oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. <laughs> Let's summon another one. Because <laughs> that thing is way too fucking strong. I mean, if that's the way he ends this duel, that would be interesting. All right. Uh, nope, from deck, from deck, from deck only. <laughs> yep, yep. Sucks when you draw him. <laughs> Yep, I wish it was something from hand, but nope, it's just from deck. So if you draw the copy that you had to send, you better have Plague Spreader to go ahead and put it back or something. Because if not, then you are screwed. And you don't want to be screwed. Not today. Not like this. Not tonight. I have Teller Knight cards. <laughs> they actually came in the mail. Some of them. They have the Warrior Turning the Lives, the Sky Bridges, the Call the Hunters, and the Trips. Okay, so you're gonna special summon him. Set a card, and that's it. All right. Up. Oh. The thing is, I don't trust him with card destruction. No, I'm just gonna spread. I'm just gonna normal summon him. So I'm straight up unaffected by trap cards. So if you got a trap card, nope. If you had like a forbidden last, then oh my god, I get fucked up. <laughs> I'm only 28, I would drop down. You're your original attack, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're your original attack, so I would just got fucked up without the lance. Another Needle Bug Nest, alright. He, he doesn't, he doesn't want to stop sending. Why do you keep banishing? So many monsters in the graveyard, man. And if he summons that death scythe again, I'm dead. I'm dead. If he summons it and equips it again, I'm dead. So fucking dead. He should sure should have one more scythe in there, so if all he has to do is summon it. And then he quits from the deck. Oh my god, I'm so fucking dead. I don't even have an MST. Oh shit, is that game? Did I win? Did I win? Did fucking Daxia be a boss ass bitch and save me? Oh my god, thank god. Oh. <laughs> uh, sure, sure, sure. Sure. I, I, uh, that was scary, that was scary. Whew. I, I was like, oh my god, if he summons another one of the death sites. It just cut me in half. It just rip me a new one. 
500 attack for each monster in the graveyard. That's crazy. All right. Let's go again. Ultimate Nightmare drawing. That's awesome. Well, I won't start off with anything because I'll actually use you, Bell, since I got the limit reverse. Ultimate Nightmare in my hand kind of sucks because it's like a dead draw. But besides that, the hand's not terrible. The hand is not terrible. Alert Darkness again. Well, I got Foolish again, so. Uh, you draw, then you banish. But, whatever. <sighs> One of the reasons why Allure is so alluring, because you draw, then you banish. So, you might actually draw into a dark monster with them two draws. It's risky, but you know, some people take that risk. Well, right now, I gotta take the duel kind of slow. Not terribly slow, just kind of slow, because Yang Zing are kind of slow. <laughs> you know, if my opponent doesn't commit to anything, then I can't really, you know, commit to anything. Wow, double creation. That's fucking awesome. I'm thinking about just starting to beat the shabby with Mass Chameleon. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm okay. Fuck. Fuck it. I'm gonna start beating you with Mass Chameleon. You wanna hit Mass Chameleon with some back row? Go ahead. I don't really care. Just gonna start beating it in. Start beating you. I'm guessing it's fine. Go ahead and go. Go ahead and poke you for 16. These trebs were so cheap. Yeah. Since I didn't want to play Tele Knights in their prime and pick up the cards now they're not, you know, topping it anymore. I got these trebs for like, what, $2 each? More needles, but that's nice. Alright. He's going for it again. What's this card say? This card is a very you can send two cards separate one from your hand. Especially this card from your Oh, uh, you can't. You can't. I don't have two cards in my hand. You can't play it. Yeah, you can't you can't activate hand destruction if I don't have two cards in my hand. So yeah, you technically can't activate that. I would love to go ahead and, you know you can't activate that card because each player has to send two cards, but I only have one. You can do it on my draw phase. Like when I draw, bam, you got it. Yeah, you can play on my draw phase. Like when I draw, it's a quick play spell, bam, yeah. Draw. Response, there you go. Now you can play it. Sucks that I lost a mass chameleon, but what you gonna do, right? Summon you and go into like a Yazi if I want to. Is there really any reason to? Not really. Oh, I'm just gonna summon you. Keep poking. Just keep poking. Just keep poking. Poking, poking, poking. Poking, poking, poking. Uh, uh, do you remember that song? Get uh, Finding Nemo? Just keep poking. I don't. It's not. It's not. All right. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? Starting to get wary though. How many in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So again, 3,500 on top of this 2,500. Wow. All right. That's very strong. That's very strong. But I can survive if he attacks one of these two. So that's all that matters, as long as I can survive. Go ahead. Unless he sends more. If he sends more. But right now, I can survive. Is he a Mally in there? Nope, no Mally. Okay. 
Wait, what level are you? Oh shit, you're six. Oh shit, I might, I might have just lost this duel. Oh shit. You can literally go, special summon the Tefnoid. Use that monster effect, send two special summon XC into the thing, equip, pop. Yeah, I think you, I think he won this. If he's smart, he won this. Yeah, special summon Tefnoid. Use your monster, yep, yep, yep. God damn it. All right, I got I got two greedy people. I got two fucking greedy. I was thinking I was like, oh maybe I can secret some of these two into like Yadzi. It's like no 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 no. He doesn't got it. He doesn't got it. He doesn't fucking got it. No, he doesn't got it. Yeah, he's got it. He's gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna fucking murder me in cold blood. He's gonna be my life points splattered all over the wall. Like hell hell no. That's game. <laughs> like ah oh, no. <laughs> Alright, then look to myself. I'm using Yang Zing's take it more of a slow pace next duel because clearly I got too greedy with it. I was leaving. I left monsters like that. I could, who if I could have fucking, if I could fucking synchro summon during my opponent's turn. If I could synchro summon during my opponent's turn. Yeah, only using Yang Zing monsters, and of course this card's not face up. Yeah, look at my opponent go here. Go ahead, go into your beetle guy. I wish I had like a book of moon or something. <laughs> XC, come on, man, hurry up! You got it. That's game. That is game, 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 game. Holy crap! You're just like, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> he said, he said, I'm gonna whip out that scythe and cut your ass in half. Like, alright. <sighs> it's like once per turn you contribute one. It's a fact. Zeus, you need to tribute a, a heroic monster. Once we turn you, Zeus, you need to trib to tribute a heroic monster or that. In fact, not the tribute to special. God, I, I just misspelled all over that fucking shit. Yeah. You can spell some of this card by tribute one Herotic Monster. Once per turn, you could tribute one Herotic Monster except this card to do that effect, so. Oh, well, sure, I'll just let you take it back. I mean, you already special summoned it, but... Nigga, just go into your fucking beast ass monster. Fucking exiting into that beetle, equip him, pop him, special summon him. Like, that's all you need to do right now. You fucking got it. You got it. G fucking G, man. Go into your beetle. Yep. Equip the monster. As long as you have. Oh, you need one in your hand. So, is that another card in your hand? Him? So you need you still need a death sight in your hand, I forgot about that. So we know one card you have in your hand, but do we know if that's another death sight? Yeah, I mean you already milled two. What are you destroying? Okay. And what are you destroying? Or you something. Each side of the field. Each side of the field. Yours too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need 
to send a okay here okay I get sent to the graveyard so I don't get my fact I wasn't destroyed This card is sent from the graveyard. You can send one card from your hand to grab this person's card from the graveyard. Then when it says, when this card is special summoned. Holy crap, he had another one. I didn't know you could special summon it from your grave like that. And it still gets fact that it's from the hand. I don't even want to do that math. I don't even want to do that math. Holy shit. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Get eleven hot fucking out. That game. Holy shit. Holy, holy, bully, dolly, holy crap. <laughs> that is a strong ass death sight. I got too greedy. I got greedy. Uh, no more to myself. Take it slow. Take it slow. I, I, I float. I float. I float. I float. I float. I, I got greedy. I decided to poke. And, you know, I just remember to myself. Go ahead and attack my uh, Aeris, and that's, that's it. Yep, that is it, sir. That is it. That is it. That is it. You have uh, killed me. Single-handed. You cut me down with your fucking double scythes. Like a badass. You had scythes in each hand, and you're just like, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> I got too greedy. <laughs> I could have I could have stayed in the duel. Uh, oh boy. I'm a man, actually. I'm a man. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> Don't call me no boy. I'm a man. I'm grown. I'm a man. I'm a big, strong man. Well, not really. Oh, well, go. Oh, it's my favorite monster. And recording for YouTube. Holy crap! He, 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 I think I got. I got too complacent. I could have survived if I would have just went, all right, Synchro Summon you and you into Yazi. That's all I had to do. That is all I had to do was Synchro Summon you and you into fucking Yazi, and I've been fine. But I was like, nah, nah, nah. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'd rather poke him to death. I'd rather poke. The, f the stupidest thing is I could have done the exact same damage with Yazi. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Girls who play Yu-Gi-Oh. Put a ring on their finger. <laughs> uh, you know, if you can find a girl that plays Yu-Gi-Oh, awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I I got too complacent. I got too greedy. I could have summoned Yazi, and you know, I could have I could have done a lot more plays. Yep. Yeah. So I apologize, people. I lost that duel. <laughs> so like I said, I'm probably gonna take off Cosmic Evil because I mean, look at it, look at it. It's not even really a Bell deck. It's more of just a Yang Zing deck with your bells watched in and your bells not really working that hot. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. But right now, I can't think of any other Rebel deck to put on at the current moment. So I guess we'll just stick with it. You know, it's only once per week, but it really sucks that I can't, you know, really bring out the true power of the Yang Zing with your bell in the way. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a true Yubel deck. Yes, Supervised Yubel. Alright people, thanks for watching.